Alex and Savannah State University and I'm a freshman at Savannah State University. And this is my daily life at Savannah State University. This vlog is not going to be as entertaining as you may want it to be. Instead, I'm going to be showing you guys what's around Savannah State's campus, what Savannah State campus looks like, what are the pros of things that's around Savannah State campus. I'm going to be showing you guys that. So that is what this vlog is dedicated to. So I wanted to come here and tell you guys that. Yeah, obviously, if I do have some fun going on, I, this is still a vlog, so I'm still going to vlog that. But that is today's video. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Quiet, I keep it low key. Hey y'all, so I'm on the elevator. I'm gonna go to Jada room to pray out these different little rooms for this garden. But yeah, I was just in Dream Room. I literally am in the class. Myself, nobody's here, and like last week, the man didn't show up. Bitch, it's raining, it's drizzling out here, and I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna walk in no rain. And then, second, if you guys watched my last week vlog. You would have saw how I came to class on Tuesday and the man wasn't here. And so I came to class today and the man still wasn't there. Um, I actually came to class late, like at 11 30 I walked in the building and the man still wasn't here. So I was like, he hasn't said anything. He hasn't notified anybody that he has no need to be in class for the past, for the past two classes. So I don't know what's wrong with him, but sweetie, next Tuesday coming around, I'm not waking up to go to this class on time unless I have a notification that he's gonna be here because this is ridiculous. This is a waste of my time. So we're gonna talk when I get back to my room. It's 1.41 and I'm making myself something to eat. But I've been back from the last clip that I showed you guys because I didn't want to talk in there. But I'm making myself something to eat. So this is microwavable rice and I'm using olive oil and garlic salt to season my rice. It's really good, it's something that my dad showed me while I was at home. And you guys don't know my dad's a chef, so you guys can go follow him at The Rolling Grill on YouTube to know how to cook meals. Okay, so, yeah, so I um, don't know if I'm going to vlog too much this um, week because there's really not much going on. If I was in Atlanta, I would have vlogged for y'all because it's all-star weekend in Atlanta. If I was at home, I would vlog, but it's not much going on here at Savannah. It's a party that's happening at Island Breeze, and I don't like Island Breeze parties, so I don't have to attend to go. I don't know if I'm going to vlog a lot this week, so I don't want you to watch this vlog and be like, this wasn't interesting, because, yeah, it might not be. It might not be. I'm eating bacon and sausage and rice. Um, if you eat that, comment down below. But that's what I eat for breakfast. Like, and people here find it weird how I just eat bacon, sausage, and rice for breakfast. But when I was a kid, this is what we used to eat. Just be hitting. And that's what I eat. Yeah, so when I have something to talk about, then I'll talk to you guys. But I just wanted to update you guys on what was happening. And now I'm finna sit here, watch some TV, and then I'm gonna get back to my work after I'm done eating. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, hey y'all. So it is um, hmm, it's nine sixteen. So I just got back to my room after taking a quick trip to Chipotle and Whole Foods. So at Whole Foods, I got myself some fruit, three dollar fruit, seven dollar fruit. Oh, this is open. And three dollar fruit. Yeah. And then I got my chipotle. And I got chips. I got lettuce on the side because when I like to heat up my food, the lettuce be in there and it be pissing me off. And I got my food and I'm gonna shake it. If you guys don't know if you want your chipotle bowl mixed, you gotta shake it like this. 
for a while and some might fall out you know and then i have guacamole <laughs> Oh, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. I really want to eat one of these oranges, so. I'm kind of mad because I didn't get my signature vinaigrette sauce from Chipotle. So now I got to put this other sauce on it. But cheers to an orange. Cheers. Mm. Oranges are so freaking good. Bro. But I'm going to put this on here. Mm-hmm, girl. This cold. Bro. Okay, bro. Oh, y'all. Okay, it's cute. It was overhyped for a sec, but it's cute. So let's see what this guacamole takes me out. Talking about guac and chip. come back and talk to y'all it's giving delicious but yeah i'm gonna watch a little dear and ken but i'm gonna talk to you guys later Today, I didn't do much either. I literally woke up, went to class, went to Fried Chicken Wednesdays. It wasn't really hitting on anything. It really wasn't talking about nothing. It was just a regular Wednesday, and we sat and ate in the cab. Then I came back to my room, kind of chilled out. And then I went with Jada. She had to go pick up some things. Then I came back here, and I've been chilling in my room ever since. I haven't walked out of my room. And yeah, it's just pretty, been pretty boring. So I haven't been able to vlog anything, honestly. Hey guys, so I'm in Jada's car. Jada's not here. She went inside Posh, like Posh is right behind me because she's getting her nails done. But I got um, ABW, not ABW, this is not Atlanta Best Wings. <laughs> I got American Deli. It's not that, but it's okay. Uh, so what really bothered me was like this is why like I, I'm so critical about food because when <laughs> because when um well he was giving me my food and you know how they be like here's your food check it look at it and then they sprinkle a little seasoning salt on top of it the seasoning salt he didn't have no gloves on and he was definitely touching some of my fries so that made me very disgusted my food and it made me not want to eat it but i ate some of it but i got a 10 piece and if you know me i don't eat no 10 pieces so i don't even know why i got 10 piece and plus american deli is overpriced for some whack wings let's get into it so y'all like american deli tell me down below but i don't like american deli i like a little bit swings that wings hit every time yeah i just wanted to come tell you guys that and let you guys know what i was doing and today is thursday so like i told y'all it's been a really mellow week like nothing's been happening honestly it's a really nice day outside but i don't feel like being outside i really just want to go home and i want to lay in my bed and not even i don't even want to go home to like to my savannah home like i want to go home to like my atlanta home and lay in my bed yeah i don't have anything else to talk about so i'm gonna see you guys later also wait hold on a second so Yesterday, last night, I went live on Instagram and you guys were talking to me about Savannah State. I wanted to answer some of the questions that you guys are asking. So if you come here as a junior because you did college dual enrollment or stuff like that, you're still gonna be classified as a freshman. So you're not gonna be able to live on the upperclassmen living area. So that means the village and the, um, 
and the problem is you're not going to be able to live on that. You're going to still have to be able to live in freshman. Now, I mean, if you're here as a junior and you're technically a freshman, but you're a junior, then um, you can live off campus, you know, because that's your own money. But you have to live in the freshman. If there's another reason, if there's another way, I would just say talk to your advisor about it. But more than likely, you're going to have to live as a freshman. So I know this angle is weird, but I wanted to show you guys how I make my noodles. I'm making ramen noodles. We put our noodles in here. You guys see the noodles? I put water in here. I don't fill it up all the way to the top. Put my seasoning salt in here. We like to have our water seasoned. You know what I mean? It just makes it taste better. Add a little salt. I don't usually add a little salt, but I'm gonna do it today. I'm eating my leftover three wings from American Deli. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to put this in here for two minutes i'm gonna eat my chicken wings y'all i was gonna make myself food but like i didn't have meat. these hit different from earlier y'all i barely got ranch in here but we're gonna make it last we got clean and bone we don't eat bird food around here we clean the bone this what the noodles look like y'all so with the noodles you gonna pull them apart Oh, I was really supposed to do three minutes. I think I put too much water in here. I don't like my noodles mushy. I like my noodles kind of like almost crunchy, almost. So I like those kind of noodles. I don't like the mushy noodles, them not good. So yeah. All right, so since the noodles are separated, I feel like I put too much water in here, but we're not even gonna worry about that yet because it's really not gonna affect anything. So I'm gonna put it back in there for three minutes. I can usually tell like when I like my noodles. So it probably only needs two minutes because I do not like mushy noodles like y'all. I will not be able to eat them. But yeah, let's put them in the microwave. Let's go, let's go. We're gonna go drain this. All right, but you leave, when you drain it, you don't drain all the water out. You leave a little water in there. I like mine, like, you know, a little water in there, a little soup type of feel. You're gonna need three key ingredients. Well, actually four. So you're gonna definitely need this, but this is not enough. Like this is never enough, you know? So you're gonna need yourself some garlic salt, period. Some more seasoning salt, babe, because you gotta remember you pour seasoning salt in the water, not on the noodles. And then, some hot sauce. Okay, so first we're gonna put this in here. You know, sometimes you could, like if I cook them at home, I put this in the water, because it makes my water like, you know, good. That pack is not enough. It really, this pack really be going to like the water. And then you're gonna add some seasoning salt, some garlic salt for the garlic taste. You're gonna add some seasoning salt. I just probably made this a little too salty, but it's okay. You wanna make sure that you get your noodles soaked in that water down there. Mm. I'm putting some hot sauce on. Mm-hmm, girl. Now we talking about something. That is my famous ramen noodle, period. <laughs> and I always, you know, just go back in with a little bit of this. Even though it looks like there's nothing in there, something will fall out. God is grace, God's good lesson for food by her. Some place to start as a grab, but she plays the people who made it to all the way down to the place of animals. And that makes my mom tell me about the ending. What do we This is good. Mm, this is good. Okay, this is a long 18 minutes about nothing. So I'm gonna do it. Bye. Whoever thinks Savannah State is in the hood, it's really not in the hood. So our HBCU, I personally would say, is not in the ghetto. It's not in the hood. It's not surrounded by that. What's actually surrounded by my school is actually really nice things, really nice places. And that's one of the main reasons why I chose to go to Savannah State. So I wanted to tell you guys some things that are right next to our school that is literally less than a mile away that are really good perks um, to me being at Savannah State. First place I want to start off with is the Target. So as you guys know, I always make a trip to Target at least once a week. And I make a trip to Target because it's literally closer to us than Walmart is. If I could, if I wanted to walk to Target, I could. 15 minute walk to Target, but a two minute drive to Target. Victory Street is 
what our school sits on. Victory Street ends right in front of Savannah State and it goes into Skidaway Road and then this other road. Our school sits on Skidaway Road. So another place that is very close to Savannah State University is the Chick-fil-A. It's right in front of the Target. I've shown you guys that. So it's a Chick-fil-A and a Walgreens in the same plaza. This Chick-fil-A stays packed 24 hours every single day. Literally, it's packed to capacity. Um, if you keep going straight down Victory Drive, you have a Starbucks right across the street from the Chick-fil-A. So the Starbucks is on the other side of the street. And then you have a, a Arby's from the CVS. So then you can turn this way on Victory Street and so we're gonna go down this road. So this is the road right here. But if you go down this road, you'll see the Whole Foods, you'll see the Chipotle, you'll see the Lash Place, you'll see Posh Nails, you'll see an IHOP on this side, you'll see a Kroger, you'll see American Deli. So yeah, like that's all was really by my school. And that was a lot of pros to me going here because I just felt like a lot of places that I have from a metro city that I am from, I come from Atlanta, Georgia, if you guys don't know. That was just some things that I like. It's just part of, was part of my natural everyday life. Some things that are down here that I told you guys. Literally, a lot of the things that I just told you guys are literally 2.9 miles away. Like, the Whole Foods can't be more than three miles away. The beach is Tybee Island, and I'll put the miles right here of how far Tybee Island is because I don't remember. I come from a city that has three HBCUs. Clark Atlanta, Morehouse, and Spelman. Clark Atlanta, Morehouse, and Spelman are literally in the ghetto of Atlanta, the ghetto side of Atlanta. What's around Clark Atlanta and Morehouse is a different element, okay? If you guys are thinking about going to Savannah State University, make sure you tell me down in the comments down below because I love to respond to you guys. There's a lot of you guys who say like, I'm coming here next year. I'm gonna be there next year. I hope you're there next year. Girl, I'm gonna be here next year. And I can't wait to see you here at Savannah State. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys later.